Radical. Welcome to ShopGoodwill.com Auctions. Haven't done one of these in a while, but I wanted to tell you that this is a terrible time to shop on ShopGoodwill.com if you are a game reseller. It's a decent time. It's always a good time if you are a games buyer and you want to add to your game collection specifically for retro game stuff. But it's a terrible time if you're a reseller because... You know, you can only get so much for game systems, especially in a flea market. You can only stretch it so far, and a lot of your a lot of your customers aren't going to be hardcore collectors. That being said, certain things like the PlayStation 2 are always in high demand. Always. Because these are systems, of course, you know, it's not no longer in most stores. No longer in most stores. And a lot of stores will regularly be out of PlayStation 2s, PlayStation 3s, PlayStation 1s. Well, mostly PlayStation 2s. PlayStation 1s are uh, ironically far more abundant, i found, than the PlayStation 2s. But this is why it's a bad time for resellers like myself. And I usually get a lot of stuff in maybe October, November, and I don't do a lot of shopping in December. Because there's going to be so many people that are looking you know, on here both to resell, I'm guessing, and also just to buy. So in PlayStation 2 Slim, PS2 system with one game and accessories, 78 bucks. I saw the shipping, so this is actually closer to 100 bucks. It is in the original box. That makes a big difference, specifically for collectors. But it only comes with one game, 007. And now what's nice is, you see, and I get from this bo- this particular goodwill a lot because they put all their systems and they show that they work that's also a a big deal if you're buying these of course you know if you buy these loose they can say they work fine but something might be wrong with them but uh, you want to get used to certain certain goodwills that you buy from you know bookmark certain ones and document your history with them so if you get a bad system from a particular goodwill Try not to shop from them anymore. Going down, we got some Wii's. And at first, this might seem like a good deal. Oh, you know, less than the PS2, the Wii is only 62 bucks. But of course, shipping's always going to be 10 to 20, sometimes maybe 30. And that is a lot of stuff. It's a lot of accessories, but the Wii accessories really aren't worth a whole lot. I've seen lots to where they have, they say... Uh, 9, 10, 15 pounds of Wii accessories, but they're really not worth a whole lot. It's just like a lot of the plastic wheels and such. 62 is not a terrible deal for a Wii, but Wiis regularly go for about maybe 30, 35. I'm telling you, of all the Nintendo stuff, the Wii stuff is the least, it's either the least popular right now or it's the least sought after. Then we have one around the same price, almost exactly, for 63 Both have three bids. I'm guaranteeing you there's less interest here bid-wise on the Wii's than there is a PS2. I'm right. PS2 has eight bids. So the 44 is not too bad. Um, because of two games and what they're like, singing games or whatnot, the Just Dance, dance games. Um, and the middle one actually does not have a top. So if that matters to you, always check these systems make sure they have everything that should go with them. Scrolling down here, we see more Wii's. These are going 43, 37. They're abundant. There are Wii's everywhere. Now, what's curious about this is, and I was thinking briefly about getting this would be the Nintendo video game system with five games and accessories as is. And they're nice enough to put on their console Powers on, but does not display the TV. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is in a lot of those cases, is it just that you need to hit the back with some electrical cleaner? I've had success with just, you know, electrically cleaning some of these old systems and connections. If that's the case, then that's a steal right there for only $26.99. It is. Especially the fact that you get five games. And a lot of these game stores that you turn games into, they will take almost every old cart game. But the disc games, you know, not so much. And same thing with the carts. You can sometimes spray the bottom with electrical cleaner. Now, it's mostly sports games there, but there is a Top Gun there. And there's two different light zappers. Alone, you can get 
maybe 20 bucks for those light zappers. Just depends. Just depends on the day and what kind of uh, retro collector you have coming to buy your stuff. But I would have no issue selling that. No problem selling that. Everything right there for at least 150 Because old nest stuff like that is very sought after. Very sought after. So, I mean, I might go for that. What do you think? Leave it in the comment section down below. Should I pull the trigger on that particular one there? Uh, next up, we have a Game Boy for 31 bucks. That's actually not a bad deal. And it looks like the screen... I'm not going to click on any of these, but I did click on these earlier. And it looked like the screen. There's nothing really wrong with it. Uh, maybe there's something from the right side you see. There's like a little bit, but uh, it's got the magnifier. It's got like a little racing game there. If the shipping's not too high, that's actually not that bad of a deal. So that sticks out to me as not that bad of a deal. What it is is I think those are not as sought after. Weirdly, even though they're the first the first um, ones, I think the pockets are really sought after right now. And, but if that shit had the box, that might be close to 100 bucks. if it had the box. The Game Boy boxes are worth more than the Game Boy. Then you have a Wii U. I'm going to skip ahead to a couple that I just want to talk about here. Let's see. Let's see. You have a PlayStation 3 for 75 20, 25 Looks to be. Does it even have a game or one controller with it? That's a little high for one that's not hooked up. But, I mean, that's not super high compared to what it usually is. Usually around like 50 But still, like I said, everything a little higher. I'm, I'm not even going to click on this and tell you that this is not a good deal. I mean, yeah, there's some games there. Maybe like 10 games. And there's some controllers. Maybe that brings up the value a little bit. But yeah, you, you got to look at it. That's going to be $120 with shipping. Now, I sell bundles with the the Slim with about 5 to 10 games and maybe two controllers for like 150 So, I mean, okay, maybe that might be a good deal for some of you. But for me, I'm not going for that. I'm just not going for that. Oh, wait, is it is a terrible deal. You know why it's a terrible deal? Because there's no hard drive. And you got to pay 20 to 25 bucks for a new hard drive online. So, yes, yeah, skip those. Skip that shit if they don't have the hard drive in them. Only buy one of these if they show in the picture that it has a hard drive. Because it is a headache to get those hard drives. Man, I got like stacks of those right there that I got. And you don't see the hard drive. At least with the old ones, you see the hard drive on there. Last one I'll go over is this one, which I might actually go for. This is a diamond in the rough. For me, this is a great deal. 11 bucks for that 360 Elite console, the black one, which people will buy over the white one because they say, oh, oh, that's the white one. Those mess up a lot. Even, even if it's the same model, they look the same, the black one doesn't have that bad rep, doesn't have that bad reputation. That one comes with Gears of War 3, which is a game I sell for, you know, depending on if I have a sale or not, 15 to 20. And it is missing the front face. I do have front faces. I don't know if I have an extra black front face, but I have extra front faces. I have like a Halo one. I can make like a Halo bundle. Uh, you got the controller. You got the power cord. I don't think an HDMI, but, you know, you still have some connection cables. I saw the shipping on that, and it is only 10 bucks. And the only issue they said in the description was it has a stuck disc tray all day, every day, all day, every day. I fixed 95% of all of those. And I had a video I'll link to, why not, showing you how to fix the stuck disc tray if you have one of these systems and you're about to toss it. It's actually a very simple process to fix the disc tray on those. So out of all these, I'm buying that one. But what do you think? Am I right or wrong on some of these? You know, are some of these actually good, good deals? And some of you, if you're resellers, would you actually pull the trigger on some of these that I would not?